It's been a strange old season for Glasgow Warriors. They came flying out of the blocks, winning their first 10 PRO 14 league games, which almost guaranteed them a semi final berth by Christmas. They were in a very tough Champions Cup group with the English champions Exeter, the leaders of the French top 14 Montpellier and the eventual winners Leinster. One win out of six was not great, albeit the best they probably could have expected was winning all three home games. But when they dropped back into the Guinness Pro 14 they just kept ploughing on, winning games and securing a home semi-final with weeks and many games to spare. Ensuring the semi-final was to be played at Scotston was essential for two reasons. First, or, but one semi-final in the history of the PRL 12 or 14 has been won by the home team, so it clearly has an advantage. Secondly, Glasgow are a different team at home and have played, without a doubt, their best rugby there. Related articles previous one the next exclusive. Channel 4 makes Scotland clash with Argentina. Australia coach Michael Cheeker admits fans may no longer Eddie Jones has no contingency plans, if defence coach Paul. Northampton confirm talks over early George North release. Share this article share the league record at Scotston is astonishing. Ten wins out of ten, but, more impressively, 49 points gained out of a possible 50. This means that, in nine of these games, Glasgow have won by scoring four tries or more which proves how effective they are, and how important it is that the game is taking place in the West End of Glasgow. All teams enjoy playing at home for all the comforts it brings, and the advantage of having the majority of the support behind you. The stadium capacity has been increased to 10,000 for Friday night which will only help to make the atmosphere even better, and could make the difference. Glasgow also like playing at Scotston for the surface. It suits their game. The consistency of the 4G surface allows a very high tempo game with lots of offloads which brings out their best in the Warriors players. Stuart Hogg, Tommy Seymour, Finn Russell and maybe, in particular, George Horn play so well on this surface. They love it and they get excited about putting on a show at Scotston. So, all positive so far for Glasgow Warriors. They are playing at home, where they've had huge success in the league so far this season. The trouble is, they are playing the Scarlets. They also love playing a high-tempo game so will love playing on the Scotston carpet. They have big-time players who have excelled at the highest level, comma, and they were the only team to win an away semi-final when they beat Leinster at the Aviva last season. That dents the confidence levels for Glasgow a bit. Doesn't it? Question mark the key to the playoffs is going in with momentum, and this is where both teams are struggling a bit.
Last season, Scarlets timed their run to the finish perfectly, playing brilliant rugby in the last few games of the regular season which got better in the semi-final and then allowed them to blow Munster away in the final. They became an unstoppable force and were, were the champions. They still have the potential and ability to play that kind of rugby again this year, but they don't have the same momentum. They had a very sobering experience in the semi-final of the Champions Cup, when they were battered by Leinster, conceding over 40 points. So, like Glasgow, they need to find their game quickly. Glasgow haven't played for three weeks which will have been good for them as they weren't playing well at the end of the season. They will have used this time well to rest the players, but also to get them hungry to go out there and perform. It will be a huge occasion for Finn Russell who plays his last game for Glasgow at Scotston. He is a key player, and it would be fitting if he could bring his A game and inspire his team to make the final. We know he has the ability. The key is to keep the head, not try too much to make an impact, but allow his natural game to flow and bring out their best in the players around him. I heard him on a podcast this week sound very relaxed and excited about this game, but also focused on his job and what needs to be done. When Finn's in that sort of mood, he is magic, a game-changer, and everyone at Scotston will be hoping we see that Finn for one last time at home this evening. Related articles previous one the next exclusive. Channel 4 makes Scotland clash with Argentina. Australia coach Michael Chica admits fans may no longer. Eddie Jones has no contingency plans, if defence coach Paul. Northampton confirm talks over early George North release. Share this article share.